Hey guys, this is Kawa. Uh, so I'm making this video because I feel like maybe some people are misinterpreting what I meant in my previous video about gaining power. So when I tell people to do their bond cards first, I'm telling you specifically to do your first set. Nothing else. Just your first set. Your first set of nine that you're going to have on your move one. Like this. You don't need to do a second set until you finish everything else on the move one. But you should probably have like a baseline of about level six. Level six doesn't require much resources. So you can have a baseline of six. And I guess if you ever get excess, you can just like level them up slowly. But you definitely want to get your four bond cards for your move one completed at level nine first to reiterate why it's because the amount of time required to do it is lower the idea is that you take only about uh i think mathematically i think it was said i think i said it was about seven weeks seven weeks to collect enough of these bond scrolls because you get uh was it 12.5 each week and um because there's two scrolls per box the duplicates help lower the time frame but we don't need to get into the mathematics here the idea why you do these first is because it's the faster option because if you were just buying only these advanced refines and you're saving it up until you have like a thousand five hundred not thousand five hundred a thousand one hundred you're stagnant you're not moving forward you you literally just slowed yourself down because you're not working on a faster function you could have finished the bond cards gained power and then went back to doing the uh, advanced refines uh, and charms and cave keys because if you stay stagnant other people are just gonna pass you in power while you're slowly hoarding these advanced refines yeah you'll probably cover some ground again when you get the level 10 out but you're going to hell trying to store these up the idea of doing this method is that it eases the journey it makes your journey to gaining power easier by collecting the smaller options the faster options first so the idea is well it's not an idea it's that we i have refined me and shadow blaze has refined the process since we've been playing for so long and the order which we agreed the best way to move forward is is you finish your first your your bond cards first for the move one then you go and pick up your uh, charms with your sun coins and while you're picking up charms you obviously pick up cave keys too um, and then finish those up first and then after those are done you can come back for the refines in that exact order and then when your move one is complete you cycle back onto your move two and repeat the same order again bond cards charm plus keys then refines Yet again, the reason why we do it in this exact order is because charms come with one for each uh, comes with one piece, uh, one charm for each equipment per box, and they can overlap and give you and the extras you can use for your uh, next equipment, which gives you more resources. Same with the cave keys, you get ex when you, if you have excess, you can use them onto your future um, powering up equipments or when you're powering up your equipments your advanced refine you're stagnant you're sitting there waiting 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 but with charms and keys you can use them whenever the rebate pops up you can't do that with advanced refines if you want to save refines you have to do it all at once from seven to ten all at one go and you're just stagnant you're not gaining power with that so we always leave the slowest option for last and we do the quick options grab the quick power the simple stuff that are just there first so you can ease up the journey and uh, some people ask about battle armor that thing has like the worst rate of return ever I can tell you that 
I don't even have a level 9 one myself. I have a level 8. And majority of these, I it was just, I collected threads for free. Like, when they showed up in events, sometimes they gave you like, oh, one thread, two threads. And I just slowly collected them. It's not worth your time doing this. It's ridiculously expensive. I did the math. If I was to buy my threads with my coins, it would take me approximately four months, I believe, to get this to level nine. And in four months time, I could have bought a lot of other power options and gained way more power than working on this thing. This thing, just do it passively. It's free. There's a lot of random events that give out stuff for it. Same for when you have to upgrade this. I know that a strong approach no longer gives out the um, the cloths, but a lot of miscellaneous events give it out. Like um, I know you could buy it in the space time place. I believe you could buy it here too. Yeah, see, you could buy the you could buy the low ones here, and you could buy the medium threads. And um, I believe there are other events that they just like randomly give it to you as. Uh, in the gift boxes, so I would never just buy them straight out. I just just slowly gather it. It doesn't give you it doesn't give you astronomical power, anyways. And then the other thing I hear people say is, "Well, Kawa, a lot of people in the high powers have level ten refines." Well, yes, that is very true. I am one of them, as you can clearly see. But the reason we have these refines is because back in the day, this was the best power option. So we were kind of forced to level these if we wanted to be strong. And then as more power options came out, we refined the process further. We decided that it's easier to grab the quick power than slowly gather the advanced refines. And then we also realized the advanced refines rate of return was terrible. Uh, a level seven to pushing a level seven to, to, to a level ten refine, it only gives you approximately two k power boost. It's really not that much. Three um, k tops, I'll give you. And I can tell you for a fact that um, if you go to my my earliest videos when I started channel, I was at hundred fifty k BP. I already had all five of these equips level 10 refine and I believe I had two of them I think I gained two over this time frame with these last 10 months but I clearly doubled up in power and I can tell you it definitely was not these advanced refines these things give you like 2k BP don't stress yourself over fi finishing them worry about the things I specified because it will make your life a lot easier but hey, everyone has their own opinions. I went through this journey multiple times already, seeing I'm almost done with my move too. And I can tell you from experience, it's just not worth your time doing it that way. But I can't force you to do anything. I just wanted to explain to people why I said what I said. And so that um, no one has a misunderstanding of what I mean when I tell them to finish the bond cards first. I mean you finish them in a cycle. You finish move one stuff first, then you move to move two. But you obviously keep everything at a baseline. Everything needs to be baseline so that you're not falling too far behind. And yeah, that's all I really needed to say for this video. Just wanted to make sure no one was getting confused when I said do this or do that. or why I didn't further explain my reasoning behind it. So, yeah, this is my reasoning. I can tell you, like I said, if you go to my earliest videos, I was 150k BP, I already had these refines, and then I doubled up in power in these last 10 months, but I only gained two advanced refines. You can take that as you may, and take my advice, but if you don't, that's fine. We can always disagree. It's fine. Alright, and this is the end of the video. Have fun!